Hello everyone and welcome to this DVD. I'm uh, Erwin Lamy, Grandmaster from uh, the Netherlands. And on this DVD, we're going to be discussing the Benko Gambit. Um, Paul Benko recently uh, died at the age of 91. Uh, uh, left the chess world uh, an enormous uh, legacy, not just uh, his uh, enormous uh, collection of uh, studies. Uh, he made some fantastic ones uh, in his, uh, in his uh, life. Uh, but also his opening, of course, uh, the uh, the Benko uh, Gambit, starting with the moves d4, knight f6, c4, c5, d5, and now the move b7, b5. And he describes it very nicely in his uh, autobiography uh, that when he first started playing this Gambit with uh, with the black pieces, um, his opponents uh, thought that it was just it was a bit of a joke. They couldn't take it, this move uh, uh, seriously. They were taking the pawn. And Benko would go a6. They would take on, on a6. And if the bishop takes a6, they would soon realize that uh, things are not uh, uh, that simple. Actually, what does uh, black uh, do? What is actually black's uh, uh, plan here? Well, it's, it is quite simple. Um, black's next few moves are d6, g6, bishop g7, short castle. Uh, most likely the knight will go to d7, the queen will go to a5, the rook will go to b8. So it's a very easy uh, scheme uh, uh, to learn, which is of course very attractive for us as uh, as uh, uh, chess players. Um, the most common move here is knight c3. As I already mentioned, g6 is the most played move. And here comes another point. After the move e2, e4, black plays bishop takes f1. And this is another point of the Benko uh, gambit. White usually has some trouble getting his king into a comfortable uh, uh, spot. So that means after d6, knight d3, bishop d7, he will have to waste some time going g3, king g2, and this is the main position of the Benko gambit, which we'll be the, discussing uh, in depth on this uh, on this uh, DVD. As I said all, already, the queen is very likely to go to a5, the rook will very likely go to b8, and it's those open a and b files where Black has sacrificed uh, uh, a pawn, which uh, will be used to target uh, Black's uh, white screen side on a2 and uh, and on uh, on b2. Uh, for people who have bought some of my earlier DVDs, um, the structure of this DVD is somewhat uh, different. I'm going to present to you um, a series of model games. Each model game uh, game represents uh, a certain variation of the Benko uh, uh, Gambit. And uh, on the basis of that model game, we'll be looking at each uh, each and every uh, line. I think uh, that's all for me, from me uh, at this point. I think we, just, we should simply jump in to this fascinating variation. One of the last uh, revelations of, uh, of opening theory, I think. And I think one of the few Gambits, the Benko Gambit, uh, which one can play with the, with the black pieces. I think uh, there are very little uh, gambit lines for black which are actually sound and this, um, yeah, the Benko gambit has really withstand the test of time. We're gonna have an in-depth uh, look at it and uh, I suggest you uh, quickly go to the next video in which we will uh, start uh, by introducing you to some sidelines against uh, the Benko gambit.